No, we're here. I'm just very tired. <clears throat> very, very tired, but we're here. <coughs> Fucking phlegm, bro. I got phlegm. <sighs> Fucking hell. All right. Good old phlegm. Yo, yo. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> Jesus. 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 Why can't I hear anything? <clears throat> oh, my headset's not plugged. No shit. Cool. <clears throat> we got like phlegm or something. <clears throat> you can't see? God forbid you accidentally hit the sub button, and then you accidentally hit the donate 20,000 USD button as well. I hope that doesn't happen. Please don't do it. <coughs> Corn blood crushers. That's cool. Those are what, demons? Only corn demons? So I assume you're playing demons? Because you can't. I'm pretty sure you... Can you take them as allies for chaos? Is that a thing? <coughs> <coughs> Jesus. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Jesus, dude. I'm dying. <sighs> okay. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, demons are not popular. That's cool. Nobody fucks with demons. Nobody cares about demons. Demons are like... Demons. They just... I never see demons anywhere on tabletop. <clears throat> Maybe I'm a little weird. Maybe it's copium. Maybe they are popular, but I genuinely don't see them too often. <clears throat> Whatever this is, it's phlegm, for sure. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Some, hey, you like what you like, man. <clears throat> it's just definitely a little uncommon. But if you like it, you like it. That's cool. Can't go wrong with that, right? Excuse me. Another mini work stream. Well, we're only going to be here for like maybe 30, 40 minutes. It's not going to be long, man. Well, save your money and then buy more Warhammer when you get some. <clears throat> That's the best way to go about it, right?
Favorite faction? What do you think? Let me ask you this. If you know nothing about me, what do you think is my favorite faction? Goal for tonight is, uh... I bought an Age of Sigmar thing today. That's the goal for tonight, realistically, is to piece that out. Not a kit. I was coerced into starting Spearhead. Mostly because I don't have time. Is or, that or all like... you've got? You must have more! Jesus Christ, Tobias, there's a fucking mimic behind you when Tobias runs side note we're still good for dead space, right? Tomorrow. Yep, I just finished downloading the game. Tomorrow morning, I will be starting. Um, I hope the game runs. That's all I can say. I pray the game runs perfectly fine with no problems. Summer's almost over. I don't have any time to work during college. Oh, yeah. You're way good. I mean, 1K is fun. Um, it's certainly a different game at 2K, but... I haven't played in a while. I'm very go, go, go. <clears throat> I don't know much, so I'm going to guess the orcs. At one point, sure, for orcs. Not anymore, though. The age of the orc is over. The only faction that I'm currently doing still that I did in my youth are dwarves. Orcs, Empire, Dwarves, 40k Orcs, Imperial Guard, Squats. Literally everything I've... The only Orcs I never got into was, like, the Lord of the Rings Orcs, because they're just fucking disgusting. Like, they're not appealing at all. Um, but, yeah, basically humans, Dwarves, and Orcs, and then in today's times, it's just Dwarves. <clears throat> no, they're called orcs. The Urukai are like the upgraded orcs, right? Like the Urukai are kind of cool. Actual Lord of the Rings orcs, like twisted elves and shit. Kind of gross. Yeah, they're kind of, uh, <clears throat> they're a little bit nasty. What did the Lord of the Rings... I like Lord of the Rings dwarves. I still love them. I don't hate them at all. I love them. <clears throat> the um, Lord of the Rings miniature game is pretty fun. And for me, the minis are very, like, nostalgic, you know? I got started with Warhammer through Lord of the Rings. I think a lot of people did. You go watch the movies, and then, you know, there's a games workshop in the mall, and you're like, I gotta go see this, that's cool, and holy shit, there's the Fellowship! Holy shit, there's the, there's the Gondorian soldiers! Yeah, it's a great time. <clears throat> Did you really? What would you play? I really want to play Old World, dude. I want to play, but like 2,000 points from scratch. I have everything to build it, but like from scratch is kind of a lot. Especially with conversions. <clears throat> but I really do want to play. I'm fiending to play Old World.
Wood Elves. Really? I don't think I've ever seen a single person play Wood Elves in the old world. Aren't they, um... Yeah, the old school uh, Wood Elves are all on eBay. For now. Isn't that, isn't that a Legacy Army? Or is that, like, in the main line release? Really? I haven't heard anything on Wood Elves ever. Maybe... They're going to get an update soon. I don't know. I don't, who knows what's next? <clears throat> Probably elves. That's cool, though. I'm, uh... I made my pre-orders today for dwarves, so we're just kind of waiting. <clears throat> It's almost time for my yearly Lord of the Rings watchathon. Hey, good luck, dude. That's like what, ten hours plus? <clears throat> Something like that, yeah. You would need to watch the extended versions. Block of 27 archers? I have no idea if that's good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I got no clue. Second place is pretty good, though. Better than third. Close enough to one. <clears throat> that is good. I was, um, everyone was salty at the winner. He brought four Terra Geist and a zombie dragon with 500 points of ghouls. I mean, it don't sound too fun to verse. Hey, whatever. Some people are like that. <clears throat> I was, uh, I was in a GW today watching a lot of the uh, Age of Sigmar spearhead shit, and um, they actually convinced me to get it. So I'm going to be doing, for the sake of gaming, while I'm working on my 2,000 point list for Old World, I'll be doing, like, spearhead Age of Sigmar, because it seems really fucking easy. Super easy to do. I just want to play a game. You can shoot well in combat? Okay, so that's like super cheesy, for sure. <clears throat> hey man, some people just want to win. If there's like a cash prize, I can understand, but if it's like a fun tournament, that's kind of goofy. If there is money on the line, go be a goof, go be cheesy. Everyone's into something different. A lot of people like the metagaming. People like looking at stuff. Some people are just happy to be there.
This blade is getting way too shitty. Way too shitty. Kind of sucks for that with blades. You always use the tip of the blade, and so the tip will get dull, but everything else is still good. It's not like you gotta throw it away, but... Just kind of unfortunate. Jesus. Oh yeah, for sure. You just stock up on them. But I mean, if you could use all of the blade, it'd be worth it. It's just you kind of lose a little bit of the value. Unfortunately. You want your shit to last longer. Get more working time. Yeah, I'll take a look. That's cool. I used to, um... I think I did them with strips of, like, uh... What was it? Strips of... Magnets? Like, cheap magnet sheeting. It wasn't very good, but it worked. It wasn't like, you know... Uh, the Magnet Baron, or whatever the fuck, you know, people get sponsored by these days, but... Magnets are good. What is this? Oh, it's an army tray. That's pretty legit, dude. That looks cool. What the fuck? See, I would totally do something like that, but then make it look so dwarven themed. That's cool. That looks legit. Or like, you, you theme a, a fucking, like, transport case for them. That's cool. See, I wish I was at that stage, but I'm just not. That's really cool, dude. I like that a lot. That's dope. Hey, more flavor. Look, when I go play Old World, bitch better know I'm rolling up with the Bugman's fucking dice cup. Okay, with the Dwarven dice. Like, it's just cool. I like it, dude. That's nice. One day, I will do that as well. Uh, cheap small magnets and bought a big bin and some steel shingles. Yeah, you can you can easily do stuff like that. You go to like Home Depot or something and you can get hardware that is super cheap and it just works. Hey, I wish I could do that, man. I'm so far out from finishing anything that like it's a fever dream at this point. I'd love to do it. Maybe one day. But then again, your list kind of, like, can change, so you maybe want to have it modular, not, like, stuck in its way. I just want to play the game.
Mine's just gonna be, I mean, I love guns. I'm Canadian, not an American. Well, not from the US, but Dwarven firepower is kind of like where I'm at. So I don't really know if I'm gonna be doing like, I think in the Arcane Journal, there's supposed to be like the engineering expeditionary force and like they kind of favor shooting more so to carry games. Um, I think that's where I'm at. Like, you know, I like big blocks of units walking up the field, whatever, sitting around waiting for charges. Um, but for me, dwarves have always been gunline. Like, big sturdy blocks of dwarf warriors, king on shield bears, BSB. Everyone's just, you know, static combat, combat. Okay, okay, great. No, hammers are good with, like, rune of confusion, or I think, like, rune of hesitation. Um, something like that. And you kind of just keep them in your backfield. And wherever people go, they're like, we don't want to charge that, so you kind of block off a portion of your, your back line. I've seen stuff like that, for sure. I did snag the pre-orders, yep. I got a few of them. We'll see, though. Honestly, like, list building in fantasy has never been my strong suit. When it comes to hobbying, strong suit. But, um, I need to just play games. Like, I really need to just get on, like, Tabletop Simulator, play a few games, fucking learn the old world anyways. I haven't played since 8th edition, and I don't even remember 10th edition 40k, and I just played that. So, I am far gone from the rules. I don't remember literally anything. So, I gotta kind of start from scratch. But I do know, like, the gist of how things typically work. Um... It's just with all, like, the nuance and niche rules in, in fantasy, it can kind of get overwhelming sometimes. And, uh, you know, I just got to play a few games. Yeah, we'll see, honestly. Maybe I'll start Old World um, through Tabletop Sim. Uh, just to practice a few games. Because, um, like, when it comes to list building in Old World, let me ask you this. When you build your lists, right, when you're playing, what... I'm assuming you have hammer units, right? People that are going to go in, do the damage, and then you've got kind of just chaffy blocks of, I'm going to sit here and waste time, and maybe, like, kind of win combat, go even-ish, something like that, right? Because I don't think everything in an army is going to be punching too hard, you know? But... Like, it's just, I guess the choices, the choices in a list. It's like, well, why do I want Dwarf Warriors when I can get Longbeards? Well, maybe I don't want Longbeards, I want to go Dwarf Warriors. Or, you know, I'm going to take those fucking ten hammerers and sit them in my back line and, like, completely ward off a section of the map so people can't walk over there. Um, like, the decisions in taking certain units whether it be chaff units, expensive units, stuff like that. Like, I know what general troops do, but it's more of an understanding of, again, why would you take them over something else, and maybe how do they work with other units type of deal. I've asked a few questions. I'm in a dwarf fucking, like, Warhammer Fantasy Discord, and um, they, uh, I've asked them a few, you know, tidbits of stuff. How to use them over others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, for dwarves, typically, when it comes to getting things off the board, Iron Drakes, Rangers, um... I think Hammerers, if, if they sit back there and, you know, wait for charges, um... Or a big block of, like, Longbeards with, uh, a King on Shield Bears. Yeah, compos army compositions are so bizarre. No, nah, I, I could sit here and play Total War and go over army compositions 24-7, but, like, actual tabletop fantasy, even back then, I was still a bit hesitant on a lot of my lists that I would build. I would have these really expensive blocks, like, when I played Orcs and Goblins, I had, like, fucking Grimgor and the Immortals as, like, a fucking fourth of my army, and it's just, like, cool, but do you need that, you know? So... Yeah, it's been a while. I'm, uh... Very curious. Mostly on list building. But, yeah.
Oh, well, let me ask you this then. What is the win condition of Old World? Is it victory points? I haven't even looked in the book in that section. It's live action Warhammer Fantasy. Sorry, it's real time Warhammer Fantasy. That's basically how it plays in Total War. Except, you know, it's not like, okay, certain units do this and that. It's more of like a real thing. Victory points and banners give... So if you kill banners... If you, if you kill a unit that has a banner, you get victory points. Generals give extra VP, so if you kill the general, stuff like that. You going to buy the Gragas plushie? I don't think they got one. I think the idea of a Gragas, Gragas plushie alone is probably losing them money. Before it's even in production, you've lost, like, millions. It's over. So the idea then is to just kill the fuck out of your opponent. Right? That's it? Just kill them? So you want... Oh, let me say this then. You want things that can kill things, correct? Is that, like, the whole name of the game is just killing shit. But still kind of holding enough ground to, like... As an example, if... <sighs> I guess that won't work. I'm trying to explain it that way. Hmm. No, oh, I mean, I, you know what? Actually, no. I think I understand it then. If it's solely based on victory points and, like, bonus points. Havana? You okay? Fuck. Making another mission pack, typically there is a bonus point for holding zones. Okay, but most of it is just... Taking banners, killing the general, killing more than than what they kill of you. Gotcha, yeah, yeah. So, like, when you're building a list, do you have in mind the immediate units that will carry the game and everything else kind of plays around that? Because certainly there are units in every army that do ten times more than others, right? Like, again, for the dwarves, if you're going shooting, it's usually, like, smaller units of iron drakes, the spam troll hammers, you know, large units of rangers. Um, or you've got the big punchy blocks of, like, characters. You want to be efficient? Yes, you do. As much as you can be. Press add on new recruit for what? Total War? If Total War was as... No, I don't have a kid. Ivana's my girlfriend. <laughs> for 40k? Oh, gotcha. This is his kid, true. The mooch. Yeah, I'm very, um... Again, like, I've been ingrained so much more so in the hobbying side of, like, Old World as of late that I haven't really seen anything in terms of gaming outside of, like, a few YouTube videos. And conversations in, like, a Discord. Maybe I do need to talk to someone, but, like, 
I'd like to talk to someone who like really spams dwarves because like general unit composition is great, but the nuances of an army are kind of like known only to the people who play them mostly. It'll be interesting though. We'll see. I'm very interested in uh hopefully playing one day. Trying to figure out the best way to base the bolt thrower. I did see you ordered a bunch of the new dwarf stuff, eh? Well, hey, I'll tell you this, man. If you're making a dwarf army, don't put grass and flock. Or not flock. Don't put don't don't put your standard sitting on a battlefield look. Dwarves don't really fight above ground. And when they do, shameful. Make him like, I don't know, underway, rocky, bunch of stones, maybe some snow. I think you got it. You want to focus fire your ranged troops to remove units that can threaten you. Uh, and then using your cheap warriors to tar pit and tie up their powerhouse units and run cannons for monster killing. Hammers are great for getting charged and counterattacking. Yeah, gyrocopters are best for dealing 25% of wounds to the units with low leadership and causing them to panic. Yeah, okay, that, okay, honestly, that sounds like it then. Um, I was doing the underway for basing, actually. That's what my Aegis Sigmar army was going to be before Old World was a thing. Um, but yeah, th that sounds legit. Okay, I got it. That's kind of just how you play in Total War, right? If most of your money is spent in shooting, as it should be because you're dwarves, um, everything else is there to, like, complement that shooting. Tar pit, waste time, just stall out the shooting so it could just straight up carry the game. Makes sense. Perfect. I like it. So I'm more inclined, then, to go maybe, like, Dwarf Warrior spam. Or, like, Long Beards at best, just because Long Beards can maybe go with, like, the BSB or something. Or maybe the BSB goes in the Warriors. I don't know. But I definitely want to do um, the uh, Expeditionary Force, which is just very much shooting. Shooting and defensive stuff. You can give, like, Thunderers and shit like that on the sides of your army. Uh, anyone who charges them, like, Dangerous Train. Seems alright. Seems interesting. Flavorful. Um, yeah, so for the underway bases... This was... I think you've already seen this one, but this is what I was doing for the underway. It was supposed to be kind of like a destroyed, you know, ruined dwarven set of flagstones, essentially. Um, I was going to incorporate uh, kind of like dwarven aesthetics, so maybe some knot work or runes. A lot of destroyed um, uh, dwarven uh, architecture and stuff like that. That's what I was going to do. So this is plastic card, but this these are sheets of plastic card that are already flagstones. I just fucked them up. Uh, there's a company that puts out it's like railroading stuff, you know. Except again, they did the flagstones, and I just messed them up. I made them look dingy and broken. Um, but it's a f pretty decent thickness, and it looks good. Super easy. Yeah. Well, cannons... Um, I wasn't really going to put cannons in my list, but I may reconsider, just because what the hell is a dwarf without a cannon? Unless you're, like, some boomer, and you want to run, uh, you know, non-powder weaponry. Which is in the book. I'll give it a shot, though. Right now, everything that's kind of being thrown into a list or into, like, just I have it on hand is in the top left. I can basically have... I can have any unit. And I, can, I have an abundance of every unit. I can have multiple cannons, grudge throwers. I have every option in this game for dwarves. It's just a matter of building it. And if it's good, great, we'll take it. But that was currently what I'm building. So...
Boom, boom. I don't even know if I'm going to be using any of the new things I had bought on pre-order. I think I ordered three minis. And I don't even know if I'd use any of them. I'm never going to use Ungrim. He's just cool. Like, the Thane on Oathstone with the handgun. Interesting. The shield bearers, maybe. You seem pretty good. This one is done for now. I am not doing it anymore. That's cool. I, I mean, where do you, are you in the US? Where do you live? Like UK or something? I don't think I've heard of any Wood Elf players. <laughs> like, again, Wood Elves are, um, for, even in fantasy in my local scene, Wood Elves to me were kind of like exotic. You'd never really see players play Wood Elves. High Elves, sure, Dark Elves. Country Boys, all the Country Boys want Wood Elves it seems. That's cool. I mean, different worlds, different parts of the world, different metas. People like what they like. That's cool. Yeah, who knows when they're going to get their time in the light, though. They've, uh, they've been out of commission for a long-ass time. And I don't think they're everyone's favorite, to say the least. Every army needs their journal. Every army needs their old minis and new minis because every faction should be getting new minis. So that's cool. You know, the old world is definitely uh, currently an afterthought, though. Like, they're not... My local games workshop has, like, 
one fourth of a tiny wall to old world <laughs> it's not very big but you know for me walking into a games workshop that one fourth of the wall is the most nostalgic thing for me why we have more wood elf players i mean maybe maybe it just resonates with you more there you go it's a way of life down there The more, the merrier. The more weird armies people are into, the better. Because then you'll at least be able to fight something different for once, you know? Yeah, there you go. Might as well use it if you still got it. Skaven right now are uh, extremely popular. Everyone loves Skaven currently because of uh, Age of Sigmar. And the new Skaven minis are pretty good, too. They're just like Warhammer Fantasy minis, but in 4K. That was one of the biggest Ws for GW. Something making it to Age of Sigmar from Warhammer Fantasy, and it looks somehow better. Like, that was pretty good. Plastic Gisales, like updated uh, rat ogres that aren't from Island of Blood. Clan rats, really, really good. Super good. I don't even know, man. I'm, I'm building my 2000 point army first and then I'll be looking at painting. That's how I always am. I don't like doing things in between. So, chances of me painting are more than, uh, like, I'm more than likely just going to start doing one-offs to, like, just practice. Like, this was base coats on a guy I did maybe a year and a half ago. But I'm more than likely going to just do one-offs to keep practicing, and then once I'm satisfied, I can tackle the army. Sad to see Clan Mulder didn't get any new... Yeah, they supposedly didn't. Um, well, no, you're going to get the, uh, you know, that big... Oh, you said Old World, sorry. I thought you were saying Age of Sigmar. Um, yeah, who knows yet. Because the Skaven are also a, a legacy army, like they're sidelined pretty hard. Maybe they'll get something regardless. You'd think the Skaven would be part of the narrative, but, like, m mostly for the money, you know, because if you have Age of Sigmar, here's Skaven, what's stopping people from trying out the old world with the new Skaven minis, right? Like, to me, that seemed perfect, but since they're not really, like, a main-supported army in old world right now, it's not really looking too good for that.
Quarrelers can take great weapons. Why? They're kind of just like dwarf warriors. Rangers can take great weapons. They're like dwarf warriors with crossbows. People use them with great weapons. I've seen people even kit out rangers with great weapons, so, like, you'd kind of have two salvos of, you know, crossbow bolts, and then you'd be forced into combat anyways, so you just kind of have great weapons. Make them a bit more punchy. You'd think lugging around a large crossbow and then a great weapon would kind of be a little bit too cumbersome. Nobody takes Thunderers. Currently, crossbows are kind of better because they've got more range. Well, first of all, from what I've gathered, Rangers are just an upgraded version of the Quarreler, rule-wise, which makes Quarrelers kind of obsolete. And Thunderers don't really get to shoot as much as you'd want them to because they've got shorter range. That's typically why. You just get more shots off with, like, Rangers at a higher ballistic skill. Um, most lists I've seen, and when people have been talking about them, because again, I'm in like the Warhammer Fantasy Discord and there's a bunch of like dwarf enthusiasts and they're all like, oh my God, the book, oh my, they're all speaking in fucking like Kazolid and they're oh, bah, 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 bah. oh the, the thunderers of the, like cooking up rules and shit constantly. And, um, I've never seen thunderers in a list. And if they're in there, apparently they're, like, extremely underwhelming. So. Either way, rule of cool. If you like guns, and you like dwarves, Thunderers got guns, and they're dwarves. Shut up, you dickhead, now fuck off! Six months in this lima. Messiah, thank you, buddy. Yes, sir. Okay, I think we're going to get out of here in about 20 minutes or so. Which, again, this is not really anything, but... I at least want to get on and scrape two bits. <laughs> Closer to finishing! Might as well get on here and do something before bed. We need to finish crossbows. Yay! What's so fucking sad about this is one dwarven handgun takes three seconds to clean, the crossbows take like 20 minutes to clean. The bits are so unfortunate.
The handgun is one chunky piece. You just go whoop, 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 done. This thing's got the front, it got the back, it got the inside. Oh my god. And it's not even a mold line, it's a mold slip. So it's like both the halves are kind of misaligned. It's garbage. What sucks is that my insurance changed and the usual people who I get glasses and from doesn't take my insurance. Hey, I'm sorry to hear that, man. That sucks. I am, uh... I'm probably due for glasses soon. More than likely. Like, glasses are, uh... I could never imagine wearing them every day, but it might be a reality. Elf Enjoyer allowed. Hey, as long as it's fantasy, brother. Or 40k, or Age of Sigmar, or Lord of the Rings, you're good. We're all equals with the hobby. Just not equal in lore. Dark Eldar for the win. Ugh, disgusting. So gross. Throw it away. I don't understand how people like Dark Eldar. I'm sorry, they're fucking vile. Or Dark Elves, they're fucking vile. I, I don't get the appeal. But some people do, and some people like that shit. That's okay. It's just not for me. Fourth tree man. You gonna go for the fucking metal tree man? I think it's like the old Trish Corden uh, metal sculpted thing from like eons past. Boats make me sick. The only thing I hate more than boats is elves. True. Thoughts on squats not getting a book in two years after their reveal? I mean, there's a reason they're all listed in my Discord for sale, just saying. The Tree Man in Blood Bowl looks pretty cool. Kind of looks looks like Maokai. It's a little bit cartoony-ish, but it's good. I was going to say, um, if you're doing Orcs and Goblins, you get the... the uh, you got to go after the um, Pump Wagons. The pump wagons from fucking Blood Bowl are amazing. No one wants to spend 50 bucks on a single pump wagon when you can spend less and get two of them in plastic. That shit's amazing. Yeah, the pump wagons. They're probably complete garbage, as are the snotlings, but, like, it's just cool. Yeah, I'm selling my squats. Well, I'm selling my Votan. Oh, the box came in? You're good? Nice. Build them, because I did not build them. And I'm even going to say, build the fucking grots. Because the grots are the money. I gave up on them a while ago. There's just nothing about 40k right now that I enjoy with them. I'm going to keep my... So here's one thing. I was organizing my collection, and um, I'm keeping these. I, the Ironhead Squat Prospectors, I love. I love the aesthetic. Necromunda's cool. The minis are great. So much more character and personality. And I've got, like... I have to build these. I haven't built them yet. I've got, like, the, the fucking Grendel Grendelson and the, the Ammo Jack and whatnot. These I love. I can get behind these. The regular Leagues of Votan, something about them just doesn't really reach me. They'll get built after the throng. Hey, dude, make something of the ammo runs, because those are expensive. Entry point for... Okay, you know what's funny about Age of Sigmar? I'm a big fantasy guy. I did play Age of Sigmar 1st, 2nd, and 3rd edition. I think we're on 4th now, right? 
played all the editions of Age of Sigmar. Pretty fun. I don't really want to build an Age of Sigmar army anymore. I don't want to, like, continue what I was doing recently. But what I do like the idea of is Spearhead. Implying people will keep playing Spearhead. So, essentially what Spearhead is is it's like an Age of Sigmar game that has some of the rules, but it's maybe like its own little version of it, in a way. And it's the easiest thing to get into. You buy one box of guys, and everyone in that box, like Combat Patrol, but apparently much better. More fluid, more fun, more RNG, you know, with cards and whatnot. But it still is, at its core, like Age of Sigmar. And um, that's what I'm currently doing. Like... They coerced me into buying a, a set because, you know, that's how GW is. And um, just play one box of guys on a little field and games take upwards of, like, maybe an hour. It's supposedly really fun. And it'll get you into, like, you know, playing the main game if you do want to continue. So I'd say Spearhead. Super easy. What did you get in the pre-orders? Um, everything that was brand new. It was about 400 Canadian, with no miniatures that weren't reissues. Like, what the fuck? I bought the book, the dice, the transfer sheet, I got the shield bearers, I got Ungrim, and I got the Thane on Oathstone. 400 Canadian. Ooh, terrible. Terrible. So much. Three minis. A book, a dice, and a transfer sheet is $400. And they're not even rare. They're just normal releases. Metal anvil and a bugman's cart? I really am not going to do the bugman's cart. That's a bit too jank. I'll just make my own. It's a classic mini, though, if you like it. Yeah, I would try um, Spearhead, though. It seems very convenient. Yo, if you did finish... Or, sorry, if you did get the orcs, by the way, can you just leave the, the feedback section with, like, your input? It's there. I give you permissions to post in it. When you're free. Obviously, there's no rush. Yeah. Thanks, man. No worries. Rock and stone. I spent 400 USD. I um I typically don't buy Warhammer just because what I'm into hasn't been in stock for nine years. Um, so I think the well actually to be fair the last time I spent money on Warhammer in store purchases was the Leagues of OTAN. I was very inclined to go all in and I kind of did go all in. I got like two launch boxes, I got fucking two Hecaton land fortresses, I got like basically two of each box. I didn't build any of them. Fucking selling them <laughs> like. I, I can't do anything with those, man. I told you. Thank God you sold him, man. Good. 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 Get, make your money back, yeah. Don't send it to me, man. Just sell him. That's good. I, uh... Again, I ended up getting into... You know what's stupid that I realized too late? Is I purchased the index cards for... Caradron, because I want to do the spearhead as Caradron overlords. I was looking through them, and I'm like, the city's box is pretty lame. You get a cannon, you get, like, guys on horseback, you get, like, a sergeant on horse, and you get, like, ten steel helms. Lame, you know, no shooting. I like shooting a little bit. The fire slayer box is just infantry everywhere. But the Caradron one, believe it came with three, you get, like, three Sky Wardens, you get 10 Arcanaut Company. You get an Arcanaut Frigate. And you also get the uh, Arcanaut Admiral, I believe, is what the box composition is. And so, you know, you get a bit of melee, you get a bit of shooting. I don't mind it. It's a big conversion project anyways. I'm not even building Caradrons. I'm building old-school dwarves in place of them. But, like, for someone who's doing a 2,000-point army right now, Ah, yeah, you get a full frigate, yeah. Um, but essentially, you're forced to take these units. That's the idea of Spearhead. They want you to just buy one box or convert a box. 
but you have to take the contents of this. It is 100% set in stone, but it gets you playing the game immediately, and it's supposed to be very fun. It's like, yeah, they said it was like the new Combat Patrol, except it was better. It wasn't like Age of Sigmar Light. It was like its own thing, but still very fun. Uh, I really like dwarves, and so I was into 40k at the time, and I thought I would like the Votan, and then the Old World came out, and I sold them all. I didn't... Yeah, I don't blame you. I think... I, I still like squats. I like 40k dwarves. Because when I was growing up, I was doing a squat army. A rogue trader squat army. These are the old egg bots. The exo armor squats from, like, the 90s. I believe they're all lead, so we're not taking them out of the fucking bag. But these guys are awesome. To me, this aesthetic, maybe it's nostalgia, maybe it's a weird fascination with, like, short, robotic-looking things, but the charm of these is so much more exciting than, like, Leagues of Votan. I love these so much. I think they look amazing. Total nostalgia! I don't think so, man. There, I, I have a soft spot for the original squad. Like, I've got a bunch of them. Like, here's the, you know, Space Dwarf Mercenaries. Oh, my God. And then it shows all the, uh, you know, Alan Perry to design them. I don't know. I love these. Something about them. I've got a bunch of them, though. But, um, I was working on an army with these guys. And, uh, I never finished it. So I still have a bunch of them lying around. Uh, I haven't played a game of the old world. I'm gearing up to do so, but from what I'm hearing, everyone loves it. But yeah, I don't really know, um... You know what I really thought about as well? Is doing, like, an orc army in the vein of the Votan. So you could have, like, assault squads as boys. You could have generic gun guys as, like, boys with shooters. You could make your mega knobs as, like, your, uh, uh, hearth guard. You could do so many conversions if you played them as orcs and not Votan. Because the number one thing I always realized was that dwarves aren't very good at converting. In 40k, a little bit more lenient, but typical classic dwarves are very, very hard to make different because they're so just stuck in what they are. They don't really branch out. They don't do anything crazy. The ideas you have in your head, maybe they don't fit with the model range because it's so simplistic. But when you take a book like Orcs, you have so many more conversion ideas that you could turn the Votan into and even make them more reminiscent of the squats that had come out in, like, the 90s, right? Because they did have more units in that book. So. Maybe. Maybe I'll play them as Orcs. I don't know. It may look a bit weird, but, like, aesthetically, the army is still dwarves and I love playing Orcs. But we'll see. Like, dude. Come to think of it, there's so many cool things you could do with orcs Votan. Like, if you play them as Votan. Physically, like, visually. Because the Votan don't even have, like, mechs. They don't have fucking, like, war machines. They don't have, um... Artillery? 
Dude, you could do so many cool things. Maybe I should just wait for, like, wave two of the Votan. Maybe that will spark kind of, you know, my imagination to, like, actually do them again. But from a model standpoint, a rules standpoint, and just kind of, like, where they are right now, there's nothing appealing. I hope, I really hope the second wave gives them something. Give them thud guns. Give them the mole mortar. Give them, like... The shit they used to have. A piece of artillery. Just put it down. Boom, 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 boom. Actually, you know what? I think they have the mole mortars, and they're in the uh, Chthonian Berserks. I think. Thunderkin. Those are the engineer guys in, like, the exosuits. Yeah, the, the Berserks have the mole mortar. Hey, they had thud guns. You know, they had little space dwarf guys on, uh, I believe the thud guns were from the Imperium anyways, so. Could be wrong. More of a, a fleshed out, like, army. Yeah, gotcha, yeah, yeah. Who knows, man? Save the vote, Tan. Make them great. Give them a book. Make me care about the leagues of vote, Tan, because right now it's a bit tough to. Although, you know, they have been giving them kind of like tidbits of things. They recently came out with like the Jaegers, the, uh, the Hernkin Pioneer guys, but on foot with like shotguns and shit like that and trench coats. That's cool. A, a little scouting unit, like Rangers, basically. Um, and the only other thing they brought out was the upgrade sprue for the Hearthkin Warriors, which is just a cosmetic thing, I believe. Mostly. One came with a jetpack. Yeah, the kill team one. It was an upgrade sprue. So they sold you... I was looking through it. I, I have the box. Oh, it's so far. I'm not going to get it. They sold you, in the kill team, one box of Hearthkin Warriors, and you got one sprue. Yeah, you get the, I think it's the High Laz Rotary Cannon or something as, like, an actual, like, a unit option. That's cool. It's, it's a little dinky, you know, oh, great, we got that now, that's cool. I mean, that would easily make a big shooter. Maybe. I, they might. You can basically buy... What I would suggest is, if you want the easy route... Do I have... You know what? I may have... You're looking for what? Flagstone? If you're, do you want to do like an underway thing? Fuck, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Okay, got it. So... Fucking $21 each. Oh, oh, it'll look way better than grass. Yeah, you don't want grass on dwarves. Unless you're putting snow. Grassy dwarf bases don't really bode too well. Here. The only problem I have with this is it doesn't look dwarven. It looks so shoddy. But the scale... The scale is, like, perfect. Right? 
those aren't rivets that's the castings of it so like when they actually did the designs i believe the scoring uh of it was ended there there's no rivets like you can't see them at all and if there were you just scratch them off right it's just the casting process that's why every corner has one so this is definitely flagstone It's called Patio Stone. 91593 G-Scale 124th Patio Stone. Two-piece. Yeah. You'll find other ones. Um, whatever fits your aesthetic. Um, the underway is more than just kind of like stones anyways. It's also moss and potentially, you know, a little ravine and whatnot. A bunch of old, destroyed architecture. Sometimes it's not destroyed. Sometimes it looks great. But if it's a dwarven thing, it's typically fucked. Yeah, up to you. I don't do textured bases. They look cool, but I'm worried about the glue not sticking to the paste. You glue them down first, though. <laughs> You're talking about, like, GW texture paint or, like, um, the big tubs of, like, mud? Usually people glue the minis down first and then put it on, or you'd probably have to super glue them. Like, for me doing this, I believe I plastic glued it to it, because it's just plastic. But, you know, you could use super glue, too. Yeah. Like, this, this is on top of it, though, for sure. Bits of sanity on League. Hey, good luck, buddy. You worked a 9-to-5 to come home to work another 9-to-5. That's not good. You'd have to link it in the Discord. There's no links here. Even if I permit you, it won't work. This is a night shift. So you work your 9 to 5 and then do the night shift? Holy... Giga Chad. Yeah. Oh, I've seen that video. I've seen that one. It looks really good. Yeah, it's cool. I think this guy, um... Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, this is great. There's something about dwarves with, like, grassy bases, though, that for me don't really do it, you know? Most dwarves kind of travel through the underway. Seeing a dwarf above ground isn't... It's not, like, entirely uncommon, but most of them prefer their mountain holds. Nah, this looks really good, though, yeah. Lovely. <sighs> How do people even work nine to six for thir nine to six? Nine to five. 30 years straight. More than 30 years straight. Way more. My wife is out. I gotta play games. Or you know what's even better? Your wife comes home and you both play games together. And not in the bedroom, I'm talking go play rank together, you know? That strengthens marriages pretty well, trust me.
a new marriage arc, you both got to play uh, duo queue in botlane. Good luck. Hey, some people just don't want a game. Play chain together. Isn't that the, um, you have to go through like, uh, some terrible course and you have to like drag people with you? Soon to be games, hopefully. We gotta figure out what we wanna play. We've usually just played, like, board games. I wanted to play Warhammer again, you know, that'd be cool. I was at a 9 to 6 internship. Oh. 9 to 6 is the norm in your country? Shit, you guys are getting cheated by an hour. Wild Rift is cool. Wild Rift is, like, League Light, right? It's great. All right, I'm th I've kind of been here a little bit too long. It's about midnight, and I have to go to bed. I have to wake up tomorrow, and we are doing Dead Space on the main channel. I'll finish these crossbows another day. Uh, Portal is good. I played Portal with Ivana. She loved it. I loved it. It was goofy as hell. But yeah, I gotta go, folks. Everyone take care. Stay safe. Have a great evening, great night. Uh, I think we played It Takes Two. If you're in a, a relationship or whatever, you need to play A Way Out. A Way Out where it's like two... I think you're Italian fucking mobsters. You're trying to escape prison. Holy shit, what a great game. It'll either make that relationship even tighter... Or holy shit, the other person's gonna hate you. It's a really good game. Amazing game. Uh, but yeah. I think it's a way out. It's so good. It, it is so good. You, It's a co-op game, though. You need to play with someone else the entire time. So amazing. Um, but yeah, that's it for me, folks. I gotta go. I will see you tomorrow uh, for Dead Space in the morning. Or if not, I'll catch you here later in the evening. Alright, so...